Now you've been seeing red light therapy everywhere, your social media ads, your favorite wellness influencer stories, and maybe even your doctor's office. But does red light therapy actually improve lymphatic flow or is it just another wellness hype? My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist that specializes in the lymphatic system. And in this video, I'm going to break down what red light therapy is and how it truly affects lymphatic health and also share what I use in the clinic versus what's actually worth trying at home. So let's dive in. So how does red light therapy actually help your lymphatic system? It's really pretty simple when you break it down. Red light therapy, also called photobiomodulation, uses specific wavelengths. Red light, which is around 600 to 700 nanometers, and near-infrared light, around 800 to 900 nanometers. The red light works on your tissues near the skin, while the near infrared penetrates deeper into your tissues. When this light hits your cells, it gives them an energy boost and helps your lymph vessels relax and open up. This increases flow through the vessels, helping move that stagnant fluid and help reduce swelling. It can also help ramp up your ATP production, which is your cellular energy, which makes your lymphatic vessels contract more efficiently to pump that fluid through. And there are also anti-inflammatory effects too. So red light therapy can help reduce inflammation and swelling while improving circulation to support better oxygen and nutrient delivery to your tissues that need healing. So the research is growing and it's actually pretty positive. There are multiple studies that show that red light therapy reduces swelling and provides pain relief. In fact, in one study, red light therapy helped 93% of breast cancer patients reduce arm swelling while also improving shoulder motion and grip strength. Patients saw their arm swelling decrease by about 16 to 22% and reported feeling about 32% better emotionally because of these results. In another study, one third of patients who received just two rounds of red light therapy had less arm swelling and softer tissue even three months after the treatment. So this isn't just a wellness hype, there is real science showing that red light therapy can help your lymphatic system work better. But here's the thing, this research was done in the clinic setting with medical grade equipment. So what about the home use options? Now let me show you the difference between what we use in the clinic and what you can get at home because understanding this will help you make a better decision. So in the clinic, I use devices like this, which is red light therapy, but in a medical setting, these are often referred to as low level lasers. And we use these for things like surgical scar tissue, axillary cording, fibrosis, and deep swelling and inflammation that just won't budge. They're also used for things like pain, joint recovery, and anything related to just general aches and pains. These are FDA cleared for therapeutic use and can penetrate much deeper than anything you can buy at home. For safety reasons, the at-home options are not quite as strong and often use only an LED light instead of the combo of LED and lasers. Because at-home devices like this are LED based, they tend to work more on the superficial skin, those outer layers, and lymphatics, and less on the deeper tissues. But here's the thing, they can still be effective when you use them consistently and correctly. So here's what's really important to understand. The key differences between what you use at home versus what we have in the clinic. Both home LEDs and the clinic lasers help your lymphatic vessels relax and open up. And that's the foundation of why this therapy works. Most home devices use red and near infrared wavelengths from around 620 to 850 nanometers occasionally going higher with some LED panels and putting out 20 to 75 milliwatts per square centimeter. While clinic lasers use focus near infrared at 905 plus nanometers with pulsed power over 100 milliwatts per square centimeter. So that's significantly more powerful. The red light around 660 nanometers works on superficial lymphatics 
while the near infrared from around 810 to 900 nanometers penetrates deeper in the tissues. The clinic devices use that higher near infrared range for that maximum penetration. For growing new lymph vessels and improving lymphatic flow, home devices provide mild up to moderate support, while clinic lasers offer more moderate to strong lymph regeneration. Treatment time, home devices treat superficial to moderate tissues in about 10 to 20 minutes, while clinic lasers reach deeper tissues in just about three to six. And cost-wise, home devices range from $250 to about $1,600, while clinic equipment can be a lot more expensive, running from $5,000 to $30,000 or higher, so many lymphatic clinics don't even have them. And if they do, someone needs to consider healthcare costs and out-of-pocket costs if they want to go be seen in the clinic. So hopefully that helps you know when you need clinic-level treatment versus when home devices will work great. If you're looking for at-home options for lymphatic health or maybe in just skin health, these are things to look for and some options that I found that match. For full body lymphatic support, you wanna find a panel option, which aren't as readily available as the face masks out there. So this one by Juve has both 660 infrared and 850 near infrared wavelengths. It's not quite to medical in clinic level, but it's the closest thing that I have found out there for at home use safely. It's perfect for targeting your arms or your legs, your abdomen, or really anywhere in the body you need consistent coverage. All right, quick update. So wouldn't you know that right after I record this, within 48 hours, a brand new product came out. So Higher Dose released their brand new full body red light wrap or mat. I have not tried it, it just came out this week, but I was able to look more into the numbers to help compare it here. So let's quickly break this down. It does hit around 90 milliwatts per square centimeter, so it means it's more powerful than something like a face mask, but it is slightly less powerful than the Juve panels out on the market. So it, because it is a wrap style mat, it is gonna be for full body. So it just makes another great option for someone who is looking for full body red light therapy. And then for facial drainage or targeted areas in the upper face, face masks like the Higher Dose or the Solo Wave are great for this area. They are designed to target skin and tissue health and reduce inflammation and aging signs in the face. So here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison of what's actually probably worth it and the links to these will be below. So comparing to a clinic level device, you can see a few at home options that are as close as possible safely. When you decide on an at-home device, look for combination wavelengths, adequate power output around 30 to 75 milliwatts per square centimeter, and some kind of FDA clearance. For full body lymphatic support, I've been really impressed with the Juve panels. It's one of the top rated panels out there with great wavelength combination and really solid power for an at-home device. It is FDA cleared and while it is higher in price than the face masks, it can be used anywhere on the body and it is the closest in wavelength and power output to a medical grade in-clinic device. And then if you just want the facial and neck work, the higher dose face mask and neck masks have one of the highest power outputs I've seen in face masks, which means they have better tissue penetration. It uses 630 red light and 830 near infrared. And honestly, the build quality is pretty solid. I do like that it covers your whole face evenly. And there is a neck mask that you can add on. And then what I love about the Solo Wave is that they have the face mask with a really strong output, but they also have a wand that you can really target problem areas like under your eyes for puffiness or along the jawline where a lot of people hold lymphatic congestion or swelling, especially in the mornings. And the wand combines red light with microcurrent and facial massage. So if you're getting multiple benefits in one device. So the key is really doing your homework and matching the device to your specific needs. You can find the links and some discount codes below that they were willing to share. I am sharing what I have found that works well and as close to the medical level grade ones as possible, but you can find what fits your needs and your budget. 
Just make sure that you always check with your doctor first, especially for any medical reasons, because they are not FDA cleared for safety to use with things like active cancer, pregnancy, or other medical diagnoses. Okay, so lastly, let's chat about how to use them for lymph support or inflammation reduction. For body panels like the Juve, use it three to five times a week for 10 to 20 minutes per area. Keep it about 10 to 20 centimeters away from your skin as well. It's perfect for your arms and your legs, your abdomen, or anywhere that you need that broader coverage. For the facial devices, you wanna use for five to 10 minutes daily, and they fit right up against your face. Just make sure that you wear the safety goggles with all of them when it's appropriate. You wanna focus on the areas that you have inflammation or that you're just trying to target with swelling. And coming from a lymphatic specialist, you wanna make sure that you combine your red light sessions with gentle movement or lymphatic drainage for the best results, as well as just continue with other management tools for lymphedema and lymphedema-like compression. And let's be realistic what to expect. Red light therapy is not a magic bullet on its own for things like lymphedema or lymphatic conditions. It's a tool that works best as a part of a comprehensive approach. So for lymphedema, you might see reduced swelling and improved tissue quality over weeks to months. And for general lymphatic support, think better circulation, less puffiness, and improve recovery. Yes, research shows that red light therapy can help, but it also shows that someone has to be consistent for it to maintain and continue to be beneficial. So the key is consistency and combining it with the basics, staying hydrated, moving your body, and doing your compression when you're prescribed. So whether you're managing lymphedema, lipedema, or you just wanna boost everyday flow, you've got a smart, effective tool with red light therapy. You just wanna choose the right tool for your needs and know when you might need to seek out clinic level treatment for more serious issues. Otherwise, I hope you all found this video helpful. Hit the like button and subscribe for more videos on lymphatic health and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.